you're up to here. Okay. Not much of a care I've got for information, but uh Alright, para missing. Not Shot really well still alive. But you're gonna probably get your reaction attempt now. You're going to react to the fact that I've located you. They're repositioning They're trying to us. You do indeed come around that corner. And hit him with a flush. Kind. Right, so you don't have a shot, but I don't want you in a position where you could get flanked. Let's see what this extra one does. You've not moved. Okay. Right, that's not dashing. Not there. Okay. Come back. Going to respond in exactly the same way as I just did again. I am going to hold and wait. Take advantage of my sniper being ready for Overwatch. I know there's one over there because I didn't kill him. I don't think we're alone out here. Okay. Where can you two get? Take advantage of this. So what I've done is I've moved Android forward. These guys have only partially triggered. Um, so I've moved Android forward. So she's now going to be able to take a load of shots. But I'm not going to have her fire Overwatch. I'm going to have her drop back and stay there. So those guys now have to come to me if they want to shoot anyone. So she's come forward. Let Zero do her. Let Zero use his squad side to get those shots on target. So yeah, I know they're over there. I just fired a couple of rounds. I think off. I heard something. So let's have a look at doing that again. Oh, reaction shot! But she's got lightning reflexes. Cook that little bit of cover in front of her. Another miss. Oh, that was a hit. So that, would, that hurt. All right. So what do we have up here? One badly injured Mouton and one other Mouton. So that must be the guys who were wandering around previously. You have a shot. You have a headshot. Hit that one. 100% chance to critical, so it should be a kill. Bye bye. Seventy percent chance to hit. Run a flush instead. Flush him out. Draining ammo fast. Come on out. <laughs> so flush has a odd percent chances to hit. You either do definitely get the kill, or and there's the front door. You definitely get the kill, 
or you get a situation whereby you get them to move, or you get them to move and you get a hit, or it completely misses them. It seems to work in, quite, in a way that I seem to quite like, in that it definitely does... I seem to get more hits with it. And the chance to hit is much higher. So, those three are on Overwatch. There's the injured one of them. Who's managed to They're park himself to pull back. in a position where he is completely flanked. Burning through ammo fast. The enemy is still alive. Yeah, finish him. Thank you, Andrew. Nailed him. Ultra, War Dog's not having the best of luck. Alright. No, I am going to take this opportunity to bring up my sniper. And then I'm going to run a reload. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. So, finish that one off. So, we had a count of ten. We've now got one, two, three, and four down. Five, six, seven with the sector pod and its drones. So, we've only got three left remaining. You do need to reload. It's killing time. You reload. We're green to go. Stay happy. Stay happy. Reload. It's killing time. Stay happy. What kind of pickles wait for us? I'm guessing that's I a psychic. I don't think we're alone out here. Psychic. Ooh. Yeah. Let's wait and see who that might be. All right. I'm pretty sure whoever's remaining is going to be aboard said spacecraft. Uh, where can you get to? Yeah, I'll take that dash. Get up on that door. Now you hold there for now and let Zero come up and provide some cover. Overwatch routine. So let's have a quick think. So are we going to get any noise signature than this? No. So let's have a look. We've got wide open space on that side, wide open space on that side. So a lot of their exterior shields and walls are down. So going through the front door, we're kind of polite rather than walking through someone's patio. So we'll, we'll probably just have a knock and have a, have a look. See, you can come up to there. I'm worried we're going to have some kind of psychic beastie waiting for us, so I'm not particularly keen on doing that. I'm surprised. We are in a position where we can move up on the door. We're getting improved vision as we go. Uh, give me a run and spray. Come up to here. A bit of extra cover. Around that corner. Hope the sniper doesn't take your head off behind you. Now I am under orders to try and minimise damage done to the UFO, but I didn't bring a lot of rockets with me. It would be rude not to use them should the opportunity to provide themselves. What's making that noise? I don't know. For the first time in quite a while, I generally do not know what is making that noise. Can you door? No, you can't. Can you door? Yes. Can you door? Yes. If the aliens have reserved this cloaking technology specifically to hide this ship, we can only assume it is carrying something extremely valuable. Yes. Very dangerous. <laughs> Thank you, Engineer Chen. Yes. Or very dangerous. I'll reserve that just for now. I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna make sure I've got all of the opportunities available to me. I open that door. As I like to take things on my time. Hello! XCOM calling. We are here 
to do unpleasant things to your faces. Alien faces. Okay. Nothing of any particular interest. So we're just going to move everyone up in a position where we can come through the door in much greater numbers. Liking that overwatch there, he's only decided to move there. Through that corner, they're going to end up with a large amount of unfriendly. So, do you know? Did you hear something? Yes, I did. Ranging in. Bring on the moose. Peter, for spacecraft, these things have pretty fragile walls. So then possibly in there. I mean, I could just blow that wall out and be done with it, but I suspect that the command team would be a little bit clunky if I blew quite that big a hole in the thing they wanted me to capture. Okay. I like the way they um, actively reposition themselves. I was like, which way would make sense if I was actually guarding this walkway? Uh, you're facing the wrong way. <laughs> he says after praising the act of repositioning, you're facing the wrong way. Alright, more of the ship that way. Left or right? Well, the audience we're getting is that way. So, let's go that way. For the kill. No, you're just going in for position. That's the wall, Android. That's the wall. Turn this round. I want it here. So we should have a space for you to come on in. Come on then. And we will bring you up to here. Hopefully you'll have a view to a kill. There we go with the other watches. XCOM calling. Anyone want any makeup? Plasma bolt to the face. Happy fun times. Ooh, is it different control units? Very different shape of alien from that. around that corner. Still nothing around that corner. Nope, nothing around that corner. Straight it's uh, possibly a mod I should probably look at maybe maybe look at getting at some point in the distant future, or at some point at all, is a um Line of fire mod. So I probably could have gone down through there anyway. Um, some of it showing me if, and it, when someone's in the position, just little angles are saying, like, "This is what they can see from here." So if I put someone there, I know whether or not they can see down that way, or whether or not they have to wait for someone to come past this. How much this obstructs their view would be nice. All right. Nothing out there, not the stasis chamber. Right, so you know, spin the camera in a little bit, a slightly better view. Alright, it's just some crashed pod. Fine with that. None of that's a doorway. Interest. Snipers out the back. Okay, yep, fine. That was in a reasonably good position.
creeping forward. Slowly but surely. What was that sound? Alright, so he's either coming around behind us, in which case we'll fool him. I've got as much facing one way as I do the other. Or he's moved around somewhere inside here. Let's uh, find out when we come around the corner, shall we? How far can we get? Alright, what have we got cover wise? Not much. Alright, apply the usual rule. If you don't like what you see, turn around and go home. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's bring people around. Try on our rear. Side finds a bit more case and cover, don't get too badly separated. So, is this guy actually moving around, or is he just bimbling around inside this area? Just getting in people's way. Alright, so that's the door into that area. Gonna be knocking anytime soon. I've got a load of people I want to move in position first. Bringing everyone up. We'll dash our sniper, see how far we can get him. Yep, that will do nicely. Everyone is fully loaded. Yeah, they're definitely in that room. What was that? Well, I better get out of surprise when I open that door. These two guys are coming right onto there. Let's get the other side. Let's get the other side. Dog with that enormous great big shot cannon of yours come to there. Aikida over there. And you in on here. Alright, so that's all six of my ex con troopers now have an excellent line of fire into that door. So let's open it. This is unlike anything else we've previously identified. Based on its physical appearance, I would assume this alien doesn't rely on brute strength. I recommend the troops exercise extreme caution, Commander. I think I liked it better when the weapons were obvious. Commander, that device, it seems to be of great importance to them. Retrieving it for further study should be our highest priority. Okay. I don't entirely know why you don't have a shot. You do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. Right. We don't have a chance to hit. Yeah, put some hollow targeting down for me. Yep, I jump a little bit more. Ooh. Who's got the arc scanner? I 
maybe some chance to bring one of these guys in alive. Night, night. You don't have a shot. Now you do. Fight him up. Take this only a chance. Rousting them out. Critical hit. Yes, headshot. <laughs> or a miss. I'll get him next time. You got a double tap? You do. Good shot. Get out of my head. Okay, mind control. They're Watch flanking the flank. my position. And that's a move. Whoa. And a miss. Alright, so everyone's panicking because I've lost you. I would love to bring in you alive, but I can't reach. So, very much like it. If you could shoot the properly unpleasant alien for me. Thank you. Who's also got shot options? No. Yes. Exposing. And funds. Gap has only got a shot on there. Come round to here. Fire. Get out of there. Nice. Nice. Good. Right, which means the Enemy control of casino is done, which means I can put heavy fire down on him. It's not just suppression. Don't really want to hit the thing. Apparently, I can't necessarily damage it too much. And actually, let's uh, let's drop some smoke. I don't think your chance to hit is high enough to be Cover going out. <laughs> You take a reaction shot at point blank range. Should be crispy dead time. Why Everything by the numbers. Yep, yeah, that's what I like to see. Excellent. Bumbling Warus was a successful operation. We killed ten aliens. We took only one hit to armor. We captured a Mouton Heavy for its interrogation, which would please bring us in another heavy um, weapons thing, and we killed some kind of alien vortex creature. Another psychic attack. Much to my annoyance. I wonder what kind of plot things we can get from this. We'd love to have brought him in alive, but not while he was controlling another one of my troopers. That don't happen. The team comes home. After a long time of banging my head against the lack of cash, I feel like I'm finally making some plot progress. Mm. 
recovered from a cloaked ship and guarded by the most powerful being we've ever encountered. What do you think it is? An object of immense power. Think of all we could do if we unlocked its secrets. A dangerous sentiment, Doctor. Yes, be careful you, in the pursuit of power, one, not, one does not become obsessed by it. Let's lock it in a crate and bury it with the Ark of the Covenant. Sir, I'm picking something up. Another cloaked ship? No, sir. It's big. Tell me that was a coincidence. Wish I could, sir. That seismic event originated directly beneath our new contact. Nothing we have would even make a dent in that thing. If you two have any more bright ideas, now's the time. Use the ethereal object, okay. Yeah, you have been promoted. More grenades. More grenades. Explosions make things better. Another live capture? Yes. Please give my thanks to the main commander. I know it can't be an easy task trying to bring them in alive. You can trust that the research team will make it worth the trouble. Heavy plasma, photocorpses, ethereal corpse, sectopod wreck, yep. Elite captive, a load of bits and pieces and stuff we can sell. Grand. All right, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I've been the Marmoset. This has been Operation Walrus, an episode of XCOM: Enemy Unknown, Bumbling Walrus. Mm, bumbling. Please remember to like, subscribe, and/or comment.